I'm not sure how to do this video or even where to start, but I have had terrible, terrible problems with popping and snapping in my audio lately to the point where it just got to be unusable. I couldn't make videos. I couldn't do anything. And I was driving myself nuts. Let me tell you what I went through and what I finally did to resolve it. And yes, I, I did resolve it. I'm running Win 10 and these audio symptoms are happening uh, under that operating system. So let's talk about what these symptoms are. The one of it is, uh, what's happening is, uh, they're static and popping. So the static is like the old fashioned AM radio stations. You listen to those and between stations, you'll get a shh, shh. Uh, it wouldn't happen constantly. It would happen like when, when uh, volume hit peaks, it would static. Uh, there was popping and you know what that is, just like a pop pop every once in a while. There would be sound dropouts and there was noise when you were mousing over. So there, like when you shouldn't be getting sound from your mouse, you would be getting sound from your mouse, just moving it around. And then there was lagging and some of the lagging seemed to be happening with the mouse. So just from this, I started to suspect there was a problem with the USB, um, but I had reloaded all the USB drivers. So yeah. Uh, and my sound system, I should mention is USB. Okay. When was this happening? Well, this was happening with games. It was happening on, you know, anything on the internet, whether it was uh, video or audio. So YouTube's were coming out badly, uh, local video and audio, everything. In other words, everything audio that was coming out of the speakers or my headset or anything was, had this static on it. The, uh, USB, the digital was, had a lot more than the, uh, than the other jacks. Uh, the analog jacks, but still it was across everything. So the question was why, why is this happening? Um, and yeah, if you can figure out the why, then you can come up with a possible answer for it. So the first thing I did is I went to, went to YouTube naturally, right? And I looked at every video on static and popping and cutting out of audio and anything I could find that was even remotely related. And everybody says the same thing, reload your drivers. So that was the first thing I did. I went through here and you can see on my screen here, I went through and I loaded all of the audio drivers that didn't work. Then I went through and I deleted all of the audio drivers and reloaded them all. That did not work. I went to Microsoft's generic drivers and got those and loaded those. Those did not work. I went back to the manufacturer of the motherboard and of the chipsets and I loaded those and that did not work. So yeah, by this time I'm becoming really frustrated. And as you can imagine, uh, yeah, I mean, reloading all these audio drivers, downloading and finding them all that took a lot of time. Finally, I got really frustrated and I literally updated every driver on the computer, every driver. I expanded all of these and I updated every last driver on the computer that I could. Yeah, as you can imagine, it did not work. So, um, yeah, what do you do? I, I said, okay, finally, uh, maybe it's the BIOS. People said, ah, oh, it can be the BIOS. So I went out and I downloaded the latest BIOS, um, loaded that no difference, no difference. Okay. So after that I said, okay, maybe the BIOS needs, uh, will cause these uh, drivers will need new drivers. So I went through literally, and again, uh, updated every driver in this list. I mean, I expanded them all. I updated it under the new BIOS. Many of the drivers surprisingly updated. So normally, you know, you go through there and it says windows has already found the best driver for your computer. Well, in this case, no, um, it, it found some and uh, I updated it. No difference. Ah, so now I'm going nuts. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. So those are all of the software steps I took to try to fix this. Then I actually started doing things like moving the USB plugs around in the back of the computer. And surprisingly that made a small difference, but yeah, uh, that wasn't it. Um, along this journey of hardware, I exchanged my son's USB headset, uh, for mine and yeah, both the headsets made popping on my computer, but were clear as clear as glass on his. There's just no problem. Okay. So it was not the headsets. 
Uh, I actually opened my computer up, don't do this, I opened my computer up while it was running and I uh, literally uh, poked at the chips because I was starting to get convinced I had a bad connection on a sound chip or something. And I went through and I you know, poked at every chip because I was getting to the point where uh, probably going to have to replace the motherboard. It's looking like replacing the motherboard is where I'm going with this. And yeah, so I checked the hardware. I actually unplugged my hard disk one at a time because I have three hard disks. I unplugged the hard disk one at a time. Uh, I checked the audio plugs where they go into the motherboard, wiggle them while the computer was on. Again, this is not a good idea. This is, you know, last ditch effort because you can shock your, uh, spark your motherboard, kill it. Uh, you can, you know, wiggle cables loose that aren't supposed to be and, and cause problems that way, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I went through it all and no, could not find any difference in the hardware. Okay. So, um, what was the solution? Okay. Drum roll, please. So I was out of answers. I was ready to replace the motherboard. Um, yeah, I figured it was a hardware problem and I was done. So there was one more option left and that was the nuclear option. And this is what I ended up doing. I reset the PC. I didn't reset it all the way. And I remember if you do this, uh, there are different options or different levels. It can wipe out all of your data and everything. It re it'll reformat your hard disk. So you have to be careful which option you use. And if you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. Uh, in any case, make a backup of your data first. But I went in here and I use this kind of recovery light that Windows has. It'll go in and rebuild the Windows system without uh, wiping out all of your data, but still you have to put back all of the software that you've loaded since. But anyway, this is what finally did it. I finally got my, uh, yeah, my audio working again. I do not know what caused this. I had a Windows uh, disk glitch a while back where I have the C, D, and E drives and they were originally known by the system as 012. And for some reason, 012 scrambled uh, C, D, and E. I didn't have da any data loss and I reset them back to what they were. I don't know if that's it, if that caused broken links with drivers, whatever. But anyway, in any event, what I finally did is I did the recovery light, if you will, which uh, reinstalls Windows, reinstalls all the Windows drivers. It deletes all the programs you've installed. It does a lot of stuff like that. So you're basically going back to square one with Windows 10. And yeah, so, but that did work. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home PC projects.